fuck it, man. Like, if you want somebody to fuck, you want them to be sad and worrying about, like, damn. Yeah, you want to have fun. Yeah, yeah, the it, first it, time it. I ever went with, t- with a cu- the first couple we messed around with, I couldn't get hard. Like, I couldn't be, like, passionate with another guy's wife. For yeah. The first time I went, like, until I got m- a little more comfortable, obviously. But, like... And that was my worst fear, was making her feel like, oh, but I'm being left out. So I was, I was like, yeah, you grab her ass. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. sitting with a lump dick, like, <laughs> still, still having fun. Yeah, you still having fun, but you're still, watching, fun, but watching watching you're still thinking about that shit, though. That, and that's why I was telling you earlier, like, that's what, like, some couples, I don't like walking into situations when I want to, like, if I could touch his wife, like, damn, man, she looking good right now. I want to just touch on her pussy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I sit by and like, but do I have to wait till we get to the bedroom and that's the proper? You know, you yeah, think about that. these things. Respect, like, respect boundaries. It's the it's the respect boundaries, right. and even though people say, yeah, you can do whatever, sometimes they don't fucking mean that. Yeah, and, maybe, yeah. and even if like, and that's not a bad girl, thing. It's just that they're down. We're so right. yeah, you we're so say, down. You don't it's know just if the like, girl will be down or if he'll be down. You just don't know. And sometimes the man want to be more down than the girl, or the girl, girl want to be more really down. Don't and be with it. They yeah. be like, you talk me into this shit. Type yeah. of attitude. Or sometimes the girl, we in a situation. I can see that in the girl eyes, like she want to get crazy, but the guy, you know that the guy don't right want there. her to have like the guy's there, so she's like, I can't do it, Jada. He probably looking at her while he fucking her, like, you better not suck his dick, like. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we know we all be yes. relationships know that it. look. Women did it. Women you know did it to their man don't, with me. Don't, don't, don't they don't look at their man like, bitch, you better not be liking this more. Yeah. I see this I, so see, I was opposite. Times. Like, I so want, if I'm, we're going to do it, we're going to like, 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 fuck like, who? We, we didn't matters. do it every day. So, yeah. like, when we did it, it was, we go, go big you or go home. You could go to home. the grocery store, and they would be like, don't look at that. They, I literally had a girl, like, I walked by, I literally had a girl look at her man who would make sure his eyes wasn't looking at me. Literally right in front of my, I'm like, damn. I, I don't, I don't, so but we have been there because we've been monogamous. Yes. So, I understand. Don't get me wrong. I understand. Okay, you, that, that's a. Uh, it's a thing you gotta go It's an insecurity. It is an insecurity. Yeah. It's a fucking insecurity. I don't want to call people yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. I can't even lie. Like I was always, I was always a wolf since a kid. So it's like if I see something, I'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Or like if a girl smells, I'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was always a wolf. So like I'll, I'll be with my girl and John, and like we'll be in like Publix or something, and it's like I catch a scent or I see, and I'd be like. You know what I'm saying? I had to like right. look Tunnel down. Vision. Yeah, like I tried to like look down. You See, know what I'm saying? I caught her doing that. That was yeah, her. Yeah, she yeah, yeah. she loved girls. Like that's what I'm saying. It was so hard for her because some girls think they're into girls until it comes down time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and like that's where she had a hard time, you know, finding you know, girls to play with. And then we started playing with couples and it was a lot be- a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to find singles, it's hard to find girls. So we gonna um, finish this out, what you think? Makes a woman climax. What makes a woman orgasm? Before we watch the video, um, we're gonna we're gonna cut this after your answer because the video on the, the copyrights clip, issues definitely. of YouTube and then and then like hitting that spot like you just gotta get that right spot and playing with the clitoris at the same time. Oh, it's good. So guys, you heard it. So I'm glad you guys has came and watching us on YouTube, watching us on Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, you can find us everywhere, Couples United Group, you know, please follow us some more, we're going to watch a quick YouTube video, and then we're going to have Lydia, we end the, we went, we end every discussion, intervention, with a, um, a demonstration, physical demonstration, with volunteers, and things of that nature, so, um, we're going to watch a YouTube video, and do a volunteer demonstration, and then we're going to, What's a, do- a volunteer a demonstration on how, how women come? Um, yes, her, her demonstration today is going to be, she, after we watch the video, she's going to top off the aspiration of the female body, and then it's gonna, she's going to do a demonstration on how women come um, from uh, example. So she's going to use some type of example to show how women climax, and then after that, we end the thing and we send you guys home. <laughs> so... Thank you very much for joining Couples United and tuning in with us and tuning in with our friends that joined us today. Thank our guests. And if you like to join the intervention, come and join the intervention. If you like to make a place of donation, you can um, go to Venmo, Venmo or Cash App to Couples United Group.
we have a lot of things in store where the donation is going to go to um, towards helping the membership build a better, we're going to build a private community for the um, members, like uh, even if it's a building where we can hang out at a clubhouse, you know, it's going to be a club membership where we can hang out at places. We got um, a GoFundMe right now for a van. We're going to have a, a van that commutes the guests that's going to have. It's going to look nice in the back, kind of like limo style. But nothing too crazy, um, guys, because I don't want to, you know, we're not playing with people fundraising um, profit, with the, the funds that they're giving us to gain fundraising. So um, we basically going to make it nice and professional for you guys, have it looking nice. And then we're also going to be doing different type of um, events and doing vacations. And we're going to help HIV, pop, um, help awareness, HIV awareness, breast cancer awareness, breast cancer awareness, sexual awareness, domestic STDs. violence awareness, STDs, and we're most important. We're trying to educate you so you guys can stay united right. as a couple. And most important, we're going to help the less fortunate yes. because that's very, very fortunate, um, important because it's a lot of less fortunate people across America and across the world. And, you know, we've been in a less fortunate situation and we understand totally how important it is when you really trying to seek for help and you're not getting the help you need when you're not really just sitting there looking for a handout. So I want to be there to help people and help people get a start some type of way. And of course, with Couples United, we're here to help couples unite and love each other. So stay united, stay united. and see you guys later. This is James and Lydia Wright, and we holla at you guys. <laughs>